Welcome to RoboBoat 2012. I am Zoz Brooks, and as always, I'm your guide to the hottest robot rumbles across the nation. We have got a spectacular competition for you here in Virginia Beach this week. RoboBoat is a competition for college students and some high school students to challenge them to build autonomous robot system. Autonomous means that the boat is not remote control, but all decisions are taken on board by a computer using artificial intelligence of some kind to decide what the boat is going to be doing next. RoboBoat 5 is the fifth annual autonomous surface vehicle competition, sponsored by AUVSI Foundation and ONR. The technical challenges are tough, the cash prizes are fat, and student teams have come from all over the globe to test their metal in the water. We've got Indonesia, we've got India, we've got Taiwan, and we've got an unprecedented 14 US teams looking to claim the title of ultimate robot boat. I'll be keeping you up to date on what's been happening in and out of the water, but first, let's go check out the details of this year's course. This year we have two full courses that are fully symmetrical from each other and we've also added an open test area where the team can test with every backup piece of equipment we have. The course is somewhat similar to last year. So we start from the dock, we go through two sets of gates to measure speed and control of the vehicle. After the speed gate comes the channel. The channel is marked by small red and green navigation buoys just like a real channel and the boats have to pass between them while avoiding the yellow obstacle buoys. The end of the channel is marked by a blue buoy that also marks the end of the mandatory tasks. From the blue buoy, the boats will use a compass heading to direct them to the optional challenges. This year is RoboBoat 5, so the theme of the challenge stations behind me is five card draw poker and casino games. The amphibious challenge this year is to come out of the water or send up a rover to retrieve a poker chip that's velcroed to the dock. These four targets are the hot suit challenge. The boats need to visually identify the targets and figure out which one is at a higher temperature from a heater that's hidden behind it. Once they do that, they connect to a Wi-Fi network and report the suit and its GPS location. These two buttons in front of me are the all or nothing jackpot challenge. The boats actually have to look under the water to find a submerged white buoy that signifies the correct button to press. If they come in and press it, water sprays out to show them that they got it right. In the cheetah's hand challenge, the boats are presented with a bogus poker hand, five aces. They need to identify the fake ace, marked with a blue box, and squirt water through it. When enough water's been squirted through, a flag pops up, letting them know it's time to move on. This year, the robots will actually be able to play a game of poker. Next to each challenge station is a card draw station. The robots get five cards when they start out, a poker hand, and they can exchange some or all of those cards at each draw station as they go along, trying to assemble the best possible hand to beat the dealer when they get back. Once they're done here, if they have extra time, they can still earn more points by autonomously driving back through the channel to the dock. The students have been here since Tuesday, putting their boats together and testing them in the water on the dual competition courses and the practice area. It hasn't all been smooth sailing though. For Universitas Indonesia, putting their robot together took on a whole new meaning when their boat came loose from their car driving down here and was literally smashed to pieces on the highway. At some competitions, this would be the end for a team. But not at RoboBoat. The other teams immediately showed their true spirit by collecting up a spare hull and parts to give them a chance to get up and running again. Students come here focused on winning, but also focused on learning and collaborating and working with each other. They spend a lot of time in each other's tents, asking questions about different techniques and processes that they're doing. And really that's the spirit of learning that these events are all about. Today we had static judging, where the teams are scored on their robot's designs and their supplementary presentation materials. The teams come in and present the fundamentals of their design and compare them against the rules that we had in the competition and really explain to the judges why they made the design choices they have. What this does is this allows them to get points to determine what qualifying position they get to run tomorrow and Sunday. Tomorrow is qualifying day. Teams will perform timed scoring runs to see who does well enough to earn a spot in the finals. I'll be bringing you another video recap after qualifying, so be sure to check back in. And then on Sunday, the elite few will go head to head in the finals. You won't want to miss any of the finals action. And you won't have to, because we'll be webcasting the whole thing live at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. Bring your questions to ask the teams live as their boats run through the course, and tune in right here at roboboat.org.